Rinaldin presents the stretcher pliers for canvas 549 and 549N. The stretcher pliers for canvas are needed to help the application of the canvas to the stretchers. Let's see how. We initially fix the canvas with a metal staple in the center of each side to ensure the tension of the canvas is equal. Then I apply other metal staples proceeding from the center of each side towards the corners. At this point I cut with a pair of scissors the excess canvas from the corners and fix the canvas with the staple. At the end, I insert the wedges in the appropriate cuts of the corners to hold the canvas even more. The wedges are then to be hammered equally in all four corners. Now, instead, I apply canvas to a frame created with a cut and assembled moulding, as though it were a normal frame. On this type of frame, obviously, it's not possible to apply the wedges in the corners. Differently from the previous frame, I now show how to apply the staples on the edge of the frame and not on the back. Also in this case, I start with the application of a staple in the centre of every side. I then apply other points proceeding from the centre towards the corners. At the end, I trim the excess canvas. This is a third example with a frame which has very high borders, the gallery type, which is often also painted on the border. These frames always have to be stapled from the back. After having assembled the four strips, it's best to check that the frame is perfectly squared. To do this, one can use the framing square or, as we see here, a glass square. Furthermore, it's better to check that the measurement of the two diagonals is the same. For this example, instead of using a manual gun, I'll use a pneumatic air gun, to be precise, the Omer 80.16, which is provided by Rinaldin with a 335 code. As per usual, I first apply a staple at the center of each side. I now show you what the prominence which is found under the stretcher pilers is for. The prominence is needed as a lever support in cases where the outline of the frame allows it, as we see here. I apply other staples proceeding towards the corners. At the end, I cut the excess canvas from the corners and fix definitely with a couple of staples.
Throughout the video, I use the chrome plated pliers which have the code 549. Ronaldin, however, provides as an alternative also other pliers, to be precise, the 549N pliers. How the pliers are used is practically the same. There are only some differences which I will explain. The 549 pliers are chromed with the 549 pliers are varnished black with a varnish against rust. The jaws of the chrome pliers are 6 cm while the jaws of the black pliers are 8 cm. The chrome pliers are aesthetically more elegant but on the other hand are less solid than the black pliers. If they fell they could break. The chromed pliers, differently from the black pliers, are provided with a spring which holds the jaw open. The chromed pliers are lighter. They weigh 360 grams, while the black pliers weigh 570 grams. The price of the chromed pliers is more than double that of the black pliers. According to the statistics of Rinaldin, the sales of the two pliers are practically the same. There exist two alternatives also for the manual gun. In the video, you saw the Rapid 33 stapler. Rinaldin, however, provides as an alternative the stapler Rokama 110. The differences between the two tackers are these. Rokama requires less effort than Rapid, but to compensate, the staple comes out with less power. Rokama has an appendix of approximately 5mm, which allows one to identify better the exact position in which to apply the staple. Rapid instead doesn't have an appendix. You can find the stretcher pliers for canvas in the Ronaldin catalogue and on the website www.ronaldin.com with the codes 549 and 549N.